Hey, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk Latoja. Big bike ride this Saturday between Logan and Jackson Hole. We're going to talk about three things. We're going to talk about smoke, we're going to talk about wind, and then we're going to talk about precip because there is a front coming through between Friday night and Saturday in the morning. So smoke. On this map, you're looking at uh, smoke concentrations. The red is generally a light to moderate smoke concentration. The heavier smoke would be in the deep reds and the yellows. This is Saturday morning to noon and during the afternoon. It, to me, it just looks like a light to moderate smoke concentration on the route between Logan and Jackson. So this is the noontime hour. We'll move towards the afternoon. You can see there really is no big change along the route kind of a light to moderate smoke concentration. Now we have to talk about wind. There is going to be some wind with this front that comes through between sometime between Friday night and Saturday morning. We will see a flaring of the wind. I'll start this on Friday so you can see the pattern. Winds are fairly light early on Friday, then they flare in the afternoon as that front starts to approach. And we're talking good wind gusts of 15 to 35 miles per hour along the route on Friday. Let's jump into Saturday morning. Winds start off the lightest that they're going to be during the race. And in some cases, they are breezy, even in the morning as this front approaches. Now, Saturday at noon, there is absolutely a flaring of some of the wind. You're looking at 15 to 35 mile an hour winds, and you can see the flaring with some of the brighter colors on the map between Logan and Jackson, especially once you get up into that Star Valley. I think you're looking at a west to east wind, so a crosswind right across Star Valley and in some cases 20 to 30, 35 mile an hour gust um, during that actual time frame and by Saturday afternoon there's really no lightning of the winds so you're still looking at a straight west to east wind across the course as you work your way um, through most of Wyoming. So wind will be somewhat of a factor up there. Let's talk precip. A look at Friday early. Um, here comes the front. You can see the effects. Clouds increase Friday afternoon and there's going to be some isolated thunderstorms on Friday afternoon and Friday night. Here comes the front sometime between Friday night and Saturday morning. The effect by late Friday and Saturday morning will be some clouds early on Saturday and maybe even some rain or very light rain. I don't think it looks heavy, but very light rain possible even into Saturday morning. Now the speed of the front is going to be critical. If this thing speeds up, boom, it's through by Saturday morning. But at this point, it looks like it may be there very early Saturday, and then it would blow east. So it's moving west to east. The front would move through. There would be some clearing after this happens along the course. And then by, I think, by Saturday midday into the afternoon, then we have to start thinking about the possibility of some isolated afternoon thunderstorms. So that's the view at Saturday at noon. Again, potentially some clearing along the course, but then by the time we get into the afternoon, we may have to start to think about the possibility of a couple thunderstorms along the route. So the bottom line is there will be some light to moderate smoke. There will be some wind that flares as the day wears on on Saturday, especially once you ride into Wyoming and north along the Star Valley. And there may also be some morning rain showers or cloud cover very early Saturday. There may be some clearing, and then we may have to watch for some afternoon thunderstorms along the course. All right, I may do an update on this later in the week, but there you go. Always appreciate you tuning in here. Take care.